Hi guys, it's Jade here. You remember last episode of... It's... I named it wrong. I got the wrong name of the... I put the wrong name in the file I saved. But if I do correct it, awesome. If I don't, oh well. But welcome back to the club. I said, I said the wire fanfiction. Hold a second, because I have a smut in my um library. And it's like a tip for all you fangirls who like reading smut and you don't want your parents finding it. Put it in your archive. Like, it may take a while for the if for you to get it out. But as far as them finding it, it, you're not gonna find it because like your parents, they never really check your archive. And the older versions of Wattpad, you didn't just slide over into your archives. You didn't have a button to press. Instead, you had the little thing, and you could just like you know do the thing. But like, uh, yeah, fucking pissed. I wish like Wattpad didn't update that. I wish you had an option like going things like, hey, I want that instead of this. That'd be cool if they did that. We just load up the chapter, and here's part two. We're on chapter four, the apartment. I was shocked, scared, and confused. It's by Wayne Jack's point of view. Happy and happy. Mark, this gorgeous man I just met. Oh, oh, I don't even know that well offered to let me stay with him. Because he has the heart of many jewels and diamonds. Like, I mean, try to bite into his heart. It's going to hurt. Like, <laughs> seeing him in pain kills you on the inside. If it doesn't, you're a fucking monster. I hate you. Just kidding. No, I don't. You're probably a demon or something. But, like, whatever. Uh, can I trust him? Will he hurt me? I guess I really don't have much of a choice. Here, I, I was overjoyed and excited, though. Don't get me wrong. I smiled at him with, with his tears prickling my eyes. I nodded. He smiled. Your first day starts tomorrow, he said, smiling. Mark picked up my bag for me. Let's get at. Let's get you situated at my place. I, I replace a lot of words sometimes. I'm sorry if I do that. It did house, but I just like replacing words. Time skip. Okay. A little advice for all you kids. Why? Okay. If someone offers to let you stay at their house, usually don't do it. Like, don't stay with them. Stay at their house. Get a feel on them. Look around the house while they aren't looking. Like, if you find a secret sex dungeon, <laughs> run. Say, no thank you, I, I think I have a friend in town I can stay with. Or something else. But don't stay with them, because they're probably going to rape you in your sleep. Or while you're away, they're going to, like, wake you up. Like, strap you in and fuck you. Until you did. Yes, you can die from sex. Trust me, kids. You can, it can happen. I hope this episode doesn't go too long, because I don't want it to be almost 30 minutes like last one. Because it's going to really get annoying. Um... Mark's in a, a huge, fancy-looking apartment building. We stepped out of Mark's car and walked into the building. After Mark talked to the person at the front desk for a while, we headed to the elevator. We stepped inside, and Mark pressed one of the buttons. I slowly started dancing to the elevator, elevator music. Mark noticed and laughed and giggled. Okay, time to do Mark's voice, because I didn't want to do Jack's voice, because that's annoying. Uh... Okay, I got it. God, he's adorable. I'm so lucky he'll be staying with me. I sound like one of those edgy vampires <laughs> in the damn movies. Like, in my mind, I sound like that, but I probably sound, like, normal, and I just... I just, yeah. Oh my god, he's so adorable. I'm so lucky he'll be staying with me. We got to my floor, and I led him to my my house. We stepped inside, and I switched the lights on. I looked over at Sean and saw he was looking around my house with a fascinated expression. I guess my apartment is really big. I need to use- Okay, okay, let's get ready for Jack. I need to use the restroom. Oh my god, that sounds like a troll under the bridge! I need to use the- Oh my god, it sounds like a baby. Uh, which- That you guys! I really- I really- I- I really- I need to use that restroom. You just- You just really be- uh, uh, I really- I don't know. I got that as Jack, I'm sorry. Don't hate me. <laughs> I just- I guess my apartment is really big, I guess. I, uh, I need to use the restroom, you just, just get yourself, make yourself at home, kitten. I'm going to fucking t- Got it. I'm just like- Close the door, get out.
if you guys heard that, that was my little brother warning me that our treacherous demon we live with called Miss Keisha is back. Now I'm going to have to stay in my room all day because I don't feel like dealing with her. So, yeah. Well, just, you're lucky I'm not going to leave you. You're lucky. Okay. I told him as I headed towards the bathroom. I splashed water on my face and headed out. I saw Sean was about to drink a glass of water. Do you like here? I asked. I must have scared Sean because he dropped, jumped and dropped the glass and shattered on the floor and the water went. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yup, was a scary expression. He got down to clean it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, my poor child is baby. I swear, if Alex is a real person, I think the fan, like, I know y'all be good people and beat the shit out of him with me. Like, we all just, like, gang up him, like, in a corner. He's like, bitch, nigga. Like, all of us got guns, bazooka, all y'all, all the ish that we can afford that's violent. In other words, a broken golf club and a bat. All I need is a broken golf club, cut him over. He has something in my throat. Yeah. Be okay, he got down got down to clean it up. Be careful, don't cut don't cut yourself. I exclaimed as I pulled my hand as he pulled his hands pulled away. He pulled he pulled his hands away and jumped back. He put his hands over his head as I was gonna as if I was gonna hit him. Please don't hurt me. He says tears in his down his face. Sean Sean, I'm not gonna hurt you. I as I helped him off the ground, he looked so tired and decided to take him to the guest room. He was shaking in my arms as I carried him. I rubbed his back and said, and said comforting things. I walked into the room and laid John on the bed. I pulled the blanket over him and left him to rest. Why do you think I would hurt him? Did someone hurt him? I have to. I had to find out what's going on. Me. Like, I swear, like, you all of us know what we would do if someone was hurting Jack, right? Like, if y'all were just gonna sit back and let it happen, I will cut you. You alone, you figgit. I love just, I don't think back, and I'm sorry. I just love, like, I say it a lot, man. I'm sorry. Hope I'm not, man. Head to G. Ah, oh, my head. Mark's point of view. While Jack was sleeping, I started making his dinner. It's killing me. Killing me. I want to know what happened to him. I want to know if someone hurt him. I looked at the kitchen table and saw Jack's phone next to his bag. I put the stove on low and slowly walked over to his phone. This is wrong, Mark. Don't do it, Mark. This is wrong, Mark. Don't do it, Mark. And her voice is in his head. I, pi I picked up the phone and went to the phone fo in the photos because I'm a nosy asshole. Me. I'm a, just an asshole. I'm not I'm nosy and an asshole. I'm Mark. Basically, Mark, you're not being an asshole if you're being nosy for the right reasons. I'm nosy because I'm just really nosy and I don't have anything else better to do with my life, so I'm just gonna snoop into your life. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. This is okay, blah, 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 blah. I went into the photos because I'm a nosy asshole. A lot of them were absolutely adorable selfies of Jack. I blushed and clicked out of the photos. When I found a new picture of Jack. Oh, 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 whoop, there I go. Shit, it's fucking. So, whoa. I'm just saying this now. How big do you think his dick would be? I'm just like asking, like, how big? Because, like, I don't want to be that big. But I'm not thinking it'd be twink size, otherwise. Damn, wish you. <laughs> Damn. I'm thinking, like, four inches, maybe. Four or five inches, maybe. If his dick is longer than Mark's, I'm gonna actually start crying. Because, like, that'd be fucking hilarious. I know. You're talking- Journey, why are you talking about this? I don't care. I literally, last night, brought my friends, their dick sizes, I now call them baby carrot. I'm not a good person. And I'm not a person that believes in too much information. I believe in not enough information, and you need to start talking. Thank you. Well, let's continue reading. Ooh. I went to the- uh, Went out of the photos when I found- Okay. I went to the messages. I found a message slot sent. Oh, slot from a message slot from a guy named Alex. I opened it and felt rage rise. These texts are horrible. They're all death and rape threats. You just if you are like this, just remember. If you're doing this shit, remember these people got family that will beat your ass. Don't think 
you get out of it. Like, I'm just saying this now, folks. If you ever think about doing this, your ass will get beat. Because remember, when you do these things to people, they got people right behind them. Daddies, mamas, all down the back of hot chips, ready to beat you. My choir teacher told us that. Because they're listening to the song called by in this play called Purple. I don't know. I can't remember the full name, but I know there's purple in it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But it was like talking about how sexual assault and shit, and like it was a black woman. It was back in you know slave days. You know what I'm saying? Like black when like segregation was. I think oh whatever. But like yeah, it reminds me so much. Like it kind of reminds me of it, but like at the same time, just remember people got people that people like that have people that care about them, and they will beat the ass usually. Or call the police on you and be then beat your ass before they take you away. They're okay, I went through it through and found out that this was Jack's ex boyfriend. I felt overjoyed knowing that Jack was gay. So did it with everyone else in the world if he was actually gay. I mean for real, if I found out Jack was gay, I would actually faint. Cause I know Mark is not straight. He is at least bisexual. And if Jack was gay, I'd be like, Well, this is a this is something. Time to hypnotize Mark and Jack. Oh boy, haven't done this in a while. I actually have hypnotized people. It's weird. It's a weird situation with me. I'm a weird person, man. I just do weird things. Just chill. <sighs> whoever this, whoever this is, is an absolute asshole. Quotation mark. I guess that's why Jack was so afraid. I was gonna hurt him. I shot off the phone and got back to cooking. I was I'm slowly falling for this adorable man, and god damn it, I'm going to protect him. Notice stuff. If you're me, Alex, I'm gonna get him like a fish. That is just me talking. He actually said this, but I will get him like a fish when I nap. I'm like, fight me. Boo boo boo. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. I'm fight still beast. <laughs> I like, I weigh over 200 pounds, so I could just jump on his ass and be like, fucking lift me, you asshole, fight me, fight me. I, fin I finished dinner and set the table. I made salmon. Salmon is amazing. I love fucking salmon. It be dope. Salmon and fries. I heard slow footsteps coming from the house. I saw Jack walking in the dining room. Good morning, kitten. Oh my god, kill yourself. I know I've slowly been transitioning in and out of Mark's voice. It's just hard to hold, because I'm laying down. And, like, as pressure pushes, like, I, this is science and all that, but, like, when pressure is, like, okay, so you can't, like, you know how people can't sing while they're laying down? You can't sing right. It's just because it's closing off your um, lungs and, um, thing. I can't, I know the logic and how it works, but it's hard for me to explain. If you guys understand it, explain it to other people in the comments, please. Because I barely get any comments, but when I start getting comments, explain it to one another. Because I know that's never going to happen, though, for real, though. I'm never going to get comments. I want to become a big YouTuber, just like Mark. I am determined to do it. I'm just going to be like Dan and Phil and barely upload sometimes. Like, I'm not going to do daily uploads. Fuck that. If it's income, right. I'm getting money off the views, so. <laughs> good morning. Oh, my God. Good, good morning, Mark. Good morning, Mark. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to fucking do that. <laughs> I pulled out his chair for him. I said, "Plate, I said, plate of food down." In fr oh, first things first, the fries. Replace that with rice, and I will eat it in front of your face. Like, give me a, a fried salmon patty. Like, no, there's like a, not even fried. It's like a normal salmon patty with some rice. It tastes so good with some butter. Oh yeah, thank you. He said, "Thank you." Uh, he said as I, as he dug in, dug in. <laughs> My mother just walked in. Why do people never knock? So I know when I need to pause the video. Because now it's going to be in there because I don't know how to edit. But if I knew how to edit certain things out, then I would have good videos. And these videos would be cut down. And there wouldn't be so much like me talking random-ish. It'd be actually reading fanfiction. I know why people don't click on my videos. And I don't understand why I don't have dislikes. That's my question. Why the fuck has no one disliked my videos yet? They're fucking annoying. And you barely can understand a thing I say. Like... And even in real life, when you fucking meet, if you ever fucking meet me, you can barely understand a thing I say. But back to the fanfiction. After we finished dinner, I washed the plates. I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm, I'm gonna go take a shower. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna do this for him now. Thank you very much, sir. I know it's not accurate, but it's like a dildo. Thank you very much. I'm just I, you guys know I'm not this rude. You know people don't actually act like this in real life, right? Some people do, but I'm not like that, dude. If you ever meet me, I'm gonna say call you bro cheese. You are friends with me. Uh, said Jack. Uh, said Jack as he wiped his mouth with a napkin. I wipe mine with my sleeve. I'm not classy. As I was putting away his, his, the, away the leftovers, a strange image popped in my head. Jack's eyes, they were so beautiful. They're like oceans. Every time I look in them, I feel like my breath has been taken away. I just can't get this Irish kid out of my head. I heard bare footsteps behind me. I try to turn around and see Jack only wearing his head. Another one to dry his wet hair. Sorry, I forgot my bag. He said, grabbing his bag and walk. Back into the bathroom. My pants feel tight after thing was clean. I got into my pajamas once to sleep. No, you didn't. You wanked off. Thank you very much. Don't lie. I think I'm just gonna read three chapters per video. Three to four chapters. Okay, this is gonna be really short because there's 14 chapters. Never mind. I'll read the sequel after after a while. Like I'll just take a little break. Wait, oh god, I got an idea. That's a fanfic I should read. I used to read that for fanfic palooza. Every year, okay, fanfic, okay, I'm just gonna tell you now, fanfic palooza is usually during, um, little breaks, like spring break and fall break. They're like, that's the two fangirl paloozas, fanfic palooza autumn, and fanfic palooza, like, well, I should just call it fan palooza, because, like, I may not just do fanfic, I may do other things, like, do fan comics, you know? Like, yeah, all that is, oh, we have Tython on here one day, I swear to god, I will do it. Or whatever you want to get something to do for um fanfic palooza, just tell me com comment comment below because spring break's coming up and uh you know we're not gonna have a lot of time to do that. So um we're gonna I'm gonna read Nightmare chapter six Nightmare and then we'll stop. I think I'm gonna stop there because I want to make these like third half an hour long videos because that's like too much. I was laying in my room staring at the ceiling. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't get Jack off my head. He was perfect in every way. I decided to play on my laptop. Nobody knew this, but I'm a big anime fan. You're an otaku. Good for you. Of Tokyo Ghoul. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm sorry. That's like a generic anime for me. Like, I hear people talk about, like, uh, Tokyo Ghoul. I'm like, no. How about anime, like, super lovers? Or this manga I found. I can't remember the name, but I'm, like, weird because I can't remember, ever remember the name. But it's Yaoi because I can't. Str straight? No. No, no. Like, a Yuri and a Yaoi. I can read that. Even a Futa. Like a Fuda fanfic, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl with a dick. Uh, yeah, I could read that. If it was like Yuri with that, I could read that, no problem. But like, the opposite sex is together? I can never understand it. Like, a female and a male being together? I, I, I just, I don't understand. Like, I'm even bisexual, but I like girls over boys any day. You know this, but my What? I left all, I. I was watching episode 12 of Tokyo Ghoul where I left off. I had my eyes glued to the screen until the corner of my eye. I saw the door open. I took off my headphones and pointed and, and pointed to my direct and pointed my direction to the door. Jack walked in sniffling, where I hit, wearing a baggy hoodie and sweatpants. Oh. And turned my lamp on. His eyes were very red and his cheeks were stained with tears. Drawn kitten. Yeah, I'm just gonna like read his lines. And Oh my god. Hello, baby. Okay, I like that. Okay, here we go. What's wrong, kitten? I had a, I had a nightmare. Yeah, I'm just gonna read it like that. Fuck you. I don't care. I had a nightmare. Yeah, that, that fucking works. He said softly. I nodded. Oh my. I had a nightmare. Yeah, no. I had a nightmare. He said softly. He nodded and pulled him into a hug. He softly sighed into my shoulder as I rubbed his back, trying to calm him down. You can sleep in here if you like, I told him. He smiled weakly and nodded. We both crawled into my large bed. I don't think I'm- I don't think- Uh. I don't think I'll be able to sleep, he said, turning up. I turned on my TV and went on Netflix. Look, Tokyo Ghoul, he's excited. These otakus will be forever together. I declare matrimony. If they ever get divorced, I will make them get back together. And I will make them love each other. And they will have adorable homo babies. Because, like, I'm impreg trash for the rest of my life. I'll read impreg on here. I'm going to do that. But, like, anyone says read a kinky fanfic on here, I'm going to actually 
consider it. It has to be over 18, though. I think, oh, I think I'm just gonna plan out what I'm gonna do for, um, Fanfic Palooza, Fangirl, Fan Palooza. Before anything. And now we've reached 20 minutes. Great, fucking great. Okay, let's finish this off real quick. You like, he's, he, I said excitedly, you like that show, I asked? Well, I've never seen it, but it, I've never seen it, but I've been watching it. I smiled and played the first episode. Don't do it! Don't do it! Kanaki, she's a ghoul! Jack yelled at the screen. I laughed and threw another piece of popcorn at my mouth. We both didn't mind this, but we slowly started to call a while with watching the show. It wasn't long before Jack's, I heard Jack, Jack's gentle snoring. How could a snore be so cute? It's simple. It's a mixture of kittens, cake, because cake is adorable and a delicious. Like, if you say cake is not adorable, you have problems. Like, I am offended. Jack's probably offended. Offended. Whatever, but like, yeah. Oh my god. I saw something. Never mind. Fuck. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Um, but like, I'm gonna finish this off right quick. Um, I was alone before I heard Jack's gentle snoring. How could the snore be so cute? I pulled in the blanket over us and hugged Jack. To my chest, I kissed his forehead. Good night, Jack. I said, "Well, sorry. oh my god, oh my god." I smiled with a with a smile on my face. Jack shifted and smiled. Good night, Mark. Good night, Mark. And like that, he was back to sleep. Oh boy, tomorrow is Jack's first day at the club, and the uniform for the bartenders at my club is a little showy. Damn. He is supposed to be wear really short black jeans. Nice. I am proud of you, Mark. If you get a if you get a boner, it's your fault. That's why I love being a girl. Because first things first, you can tuck your dick. You realize that, right? But like, it looks like you're bulchless and you look like a girl. <laughs> but the thing about being a girl is we don't get boners. We get lady boners that you never notice. Like unless you got really big pussy, and then I don't have to question whether that actually is a dick or not. <laughs> then I don't have to question. Yeah, we're just trying to do great. Um, black leather boots. Oh my god, and a rainbow bow tie. Nice. A bartender, though. Are you talking about a stripper or a bartender? Because the bartenders usually don't wear that. They usually buttoned up in shorts. I could deal with that. Like booty shorts. Hey, not even shorter than booty shorts. I want to be able to see his ass and crack too. Like I want to be able to see his ass crack and his ass. I want to just like see it get wedged in his. Ass crack. <laughs> like his ass crack can see. <laughs> well, that guy, he is slim thick, but I don't really. He got an ass, too. Like, don't even know. Like, I swear, he has ass. He has curves. Like, if he was a drag queen, he would not need padding, girl. Because God did not give him curves to not be in drag. Like, God did not give me a manly voice not to be a lust. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um. Okay, I'll be honest, my club paradise is a gay male strip club. But that's fine, our dancers are well paid and treated with respect. Something like stripping in front of a drunk guy definitely isn't for Jack. Good thing we need a bartender. I shut off my lamp and closed my eyes as I drifted to sleep. Okay guys, that was fucking it. Remember folks, no smut. I'll never read smut on this channel because like I don't want like you to be like, I'm gonna take, we're gonna take this video down because like, inappropriate. I'm like, literally it's just a me talking and it's like not even good with audio what the hell you're taking away all the good ish because youtube's falling apart can we all understand that now like eventually youtube will fall it's just obvious at this point like just, man it's like, like i just i just think they should do this just shut down youtube for like about a week like put it like in this sort of mode where you're still watching and it doesn't do anything like it's just like watching a video plucking a video nah you can like and dislike that's not it no views doesn't give you count of the like likes and dislikes if they just did that, then, like, they can fix things, so that when everyone comes back to YouTube, they're like, Oh, there are corrections. This stuff isn't happening anymore, and I like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so, like, yeah, that's the end of this video, folks. Um, I'm gonna see you guys next week. Stay weird. Boy! Also, don't forget about fan Fanpalooza. Give me comments on what I should do for it, and, um, bye. Pre-recorded.